Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I have a card to share with you that features the new Simon Says Stamp May 2017 card kit called Animation. This card kit is called Animation because there is a fun stamp set included in the kit that allows you to create a really cool slider that makes the stamped image look like it's moving. And I'm going to show you how I created my card here to create that fun effect. This is a look at the card kit and the contents that you get inside of the kit. I have links to the card kit down in the video description and also over at my blog you can see more details for the kit. I also have a video that features all of the items in the kit and shows you what's inside so you can go ahead and get an idea for what is included in this month's kit. Now bear in mind that the stamp set that's included in this kit is a limited edition stamp set and is only available inside of the kit. So once the kit sells out you won't be able to get the stamp set but the company that created this stamp set for Simon Says Stamp has a bunch of other different stamp sets in the same style so that you can create these really fun animation cards as well. So I'll have details on that over at my blog or in the video that features the contents of the card kit. So here I'm going ahead and taking one of the Simon Says Stamp Stitch Rectangle dies so that I can go ahead and create a frame. This frame is what I'm going to be using to create the slider for my card. I'm running this through my Big Shot machine so I have the nice stitching detail around the edges of that panel. I'm going to be putting this onto a card base using some of the navy cardstock that's included in the kit. I've cut this card down to be a lot smaller than a normal A2 size card. The dimensions for this card are about three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Now I also need to create a panel that's going to house my stamped image. This is going to be the slider portion of my card, so I need to have little tabs on each end to give my hand something to hold as I'm pulling this through the slider. So I'm using the circle notch dies from Memory Box. These have little stitching details included on them, but I'm not going to be getting the stitching details from this. I'm actually using the opposite end of the die and this is creating little pull tabs. So I can go ahead and pull this from either side of my frame and that will allow me to create the slider that makes my stamp look like it's moving. So here I've got my stamp and I'm going to go ahead and line this up into the middle area of my little pull tab. I'm going to ink this up with some Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink. I'm going to ink it up a couple times so that way I get a nice dark impression. I need to make sure that this stamp is perfectly aligned straight so my MISTI allowed me to get that really nice straight stamped image. Lining it up straight is what's going to allow you to line it up with the grid sheet that you can see there on my cutting mat. That's what's going to create the animated effect. So I'm going to go ahead and line this grid mat over top of my stamped image and line it up with the lines that's on the cactus and then I'll be able to see where I need to be able to line this up so it's perfectly straight. Then I can go ahead and add my frame which has the adhesive on it and I can add that right on top of that grid and trim out the excess areas. But that allowed me to get the grid perfectly aligned so that way the image will be able to create that animated effect. Okay, so now I'm going to also add some details to the pull tabs. I'm cutting out some of the pattern paper that's also included in the kit. I'm using the back side of it so it has the solid color. And I'm going to add that to either end of the pull tabs just to give it a little bit of interest. You can see the yellow peeking out and the white will be on the background of that stamped image. I'm going to go ahead and create the slider here. I'm going to use foam tape. I found that this was the easiest way to get the really nice channel so that way my panel will slide in and out very easily. I'm going to go ahead and take some of the foam tape which I've trimmed down to a very thin sliver and I'm lining that up along the bottom portion of my frame. Once I've gone ahead and added all my foam tape, I'm going to go ahead and attach it down onto my card, line that up, and because we already lined up the grid, I know this is going to be aligned perfectly for my slider. Before I go ahead and put that in, I'm going to add a little heart, which I'm using the Sunbunny Special Die Set to die cut a heart into either end of the pull tab, and that just adds a little bit of embellishment and makes it look really cute. So I'll go ahead and fit my slider inside. And this allows the little cactus to be able to slide back and forth. Instead of it going in just one direction, having the pull tabs allows you to pull it back and forth and have it look a little bit more centered. Instead of pulling it all the way to the one side of the card and that being it and having to push it back to see it move again, this allows you to kind of go back and forth and not have to worry about losing the image at one point during the animation part. So I think this design really works well for the stamp set. So now it's time to go ahead and add a sentiment. I'm using a Hero Arts Thank You Sentiment stamp set and I'm going to go ahead and ink this up first with some clear ink. Once I've stamped this with the clear ink, I'm going to then be able to stamp again over top of that with a solid color of ink. This time I'm using some navy blue ink and I'm doing my stamping onto some guava cardstock from Lawn Fawn. 
After I've gone ahead and done my stamping, I can take some clear embossing powder and sprinkle that over top of the sentiment. The dye ink normally would not have held the embossing powder, so by stamping first with the clear ink and then restamping with the solid color of ink, that allows me to be able to hold the embossing powder and get a nice heat embossed sentiment. I'll go ahead and trim this down into a sentiment strip banner, and I'm also going to add some flag ends using some fine tip scissors. This trimmer here I'm using is the mini Tim Holtz tonic trimmer. I really love this for trimming down small pieces of paper. It works really well and fits nicely on my desk. So I popped up that sentiment using some foam tape to get a little bit of dimension off of my card and I added that to the bottom portion of the panel. So here's a look at how I'm able to pull that slider back and forth between the frame and not have to kind of pull it out and then have to push it back. This I can kind of move back and forth and create a really fun effect. And I think the design really looks cute. So I hope this card has inspired you for ways that you can use this new animation stamp set designed for Simon Says Stamp by Uchi's Designs. If you are unable to get the card kit, I have links to the Uchi's Designs stamps over at my blog. So you can go ahead and check those out and see what other kinds of stamp sets that they have so you can create your own animation cards. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more inspiration. You can see more videos on the right hand side or you can click on the link here to visit me at my blog. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you again very soon. Bye!